This is Coleman Alderson for GardensAll.com. Welcome folks. I'd like to show you today a tree that we're really proud of. We um, planted it back in 2019 in the fall and the very first year after the winter passed, it put out a bunch of fruit. Now, this fruit is an orange and the tree itself is called the Flying Dragon orange or flying dragon bitter orange it is a unique type of citrus a true citrus the scientific name is citrus trifoliata and it is a real winner in our book because we don't get much of a chance to grow vitamin c rich citrus fruit in our area in fact this tree can sustain itself into zone six which means it could take up to minus 10 degrees cold and that may be good news for some of you guys that live up in uh, above zone seven into zone six and maybe even partly into zone five but it is a, quite a an abundant tree it's fall right now about mid-fall and these have come out and are beginning to drop and fall out of the tree onto the ground where we collect them. They're pretty easy. <clears throat> They're pretty easy to pick as well. Very easy to come off the branch. So what do we do with these things? Well, the fruit itself is used often to make a kind of lemonade. There's not much pulp in it. It's mostly seeds. And the seeds themselves have a nutritional value. But you can make a, we've made lemonade out of, out of these and some people will take it and process it into marmalade. Some have suggested using the peels and making a candied peel kind of thing, a candied confection. So it has some uses as, as a, um, something to consume in the kitchen, right? But the tree itself, the main use Actually, there, there are several, but the primary use is as a rootstock for other citrus trees like navel orange and, and uh, other types of trees, mandarins and whatnot. And the rootstock being hardy really gives an edge to a plant you can grow maybe a little bit on the borderline of where uh, the tropical trees like oranges grow. The other thing is it has very sharp thorns and I'll show you a big illustration. And there, some of them are about this long, about three inches long. You would not want to go running through a hedge of these. You wouldn't want any, you wouldn't wish it on anybody to go running through a hedgerow of these guys. I've already just messing around, picking a few um, of these little oranges. I've already poked myself twice and it does not feel good, but it really would make a great hedge tree uh, hedge if you chose to do that. So this is, you can look it up. It's not that common at a nursery. You may have to special order it from one of the online nurseries, but I uh, tell you, it is, it's a great little tree. It looks good when the leaves come off, it is deciduous and they call it trifoliata because it has these little um, three leaves here, you see. And what happens is they, these leaves fall off and it has a really nice structure. It's sort of random. If you like the um, Harry Lauder's walking stick, the Coralanus, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Carlos Avellana contorta. It's quite a bit like that in form, but then you have the added benefit of really powerful thorns all, all within this. If you have any uh, experience with this, growing this, or likes or dislikes, let us know. Drop us a line right here. Do a little comment. Hit the subscribe button, and you'll be right in the in the stream of everything that we're doing. And also the alert alert bell up there, and that will help you find out what we're up to next, what all's going on in GardensAll.com. So this is the Flying Dragon hearty orange or bitter orange. Coleman Alderson reporting. Have a great fall. So long.